Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is me, a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where, um, I may have made a bit of a mistake. See, what I've decided to do is, uh, come in here, into Parsons, where I am now trapped and cannot escape. And what several people in the comments said, who sounded like, you know, they knew what they were talking about and like they meant it, was, um, John, you probably shouldn't be here this early. Like, you're only level, what am I, 17, 18 or something, and most people apparently come here at about level 50 or 60 and still have a bit of a difficult time. Um, so, this might prove to be a little bit on the difficult side. By which I mean, depending on how today goes, we might need to pull out and go and murder some more people elsewhere. Like, say, returning to Molden and trying to clear out a whole bunch of Molden men because they're worth quite a few XP. So, we'd have to have a think about that. But you know what? We're here now. I'll give it a go. Because the advantage I've got is my guns are effectively tier 4 weaponry. Because the parts I've scavenged and basically plugged together are basically all tier 4 stuff. My character is very low level. So, it depends on how the enemy levels are being calculated. If the enemies are working at fixed levels or levels tied to this area, whether they're level 50 or 60, I'm screwed. If the enemy levels, however, are something more like mine, then actually I've got the advantage coming here earlier, because I've got a whole bunch of... Ooh. So key. Well, that's bloody useful. Well, I'm glad I did the intro in here while just wandering around looking at stuff. Because now I've found an extra key. So that's bloody useful. Um, so yeah, if potentially the enemies are not of the highest level, I might have an advantage. Also, nothing in here yet. And, oh, this door opens. I'm going to be honest, I was kind of expecting it to not do so. And something's almost detecting. Hello? What? Exactly. Oh. I hear violence. Okay. I hear violence. Why do I hear violence? Well, logically, Themis fighting. No, there's nothing over there. Uh, so, where exactly... Are the people who are fighting? Is that just... Hang on, what's through that hole? Let's just start exploring here. Nice and calm. Little... Oh, industrial grade. No, that's not the priority right now, John. Not the priority. But just keep searching everything, because there might be keys dotted around here. There might be... Oh. Was that me walking over debris, or was that... I think it was just a bucket. It's fine. Right. Sneak upstairs here, because this is the way you, well, this is the way you progress in the main game. Doesn't mean it's how we progress here. And bear in mind, advantage that we have, that people are taking on, Molden Men and uh, Themis, assuming any are even still alive, is they have a habit of being, okay, that leads through to a new area. Alright, well, let's come back here later. Yeah, they have a habit of being unarmed, or rather armed with melee. And I've got some good quality guns, so bare minimum, I can be shooting them before they can be shooting me. Let's just loop round this building, see what we can... Okay, good start. Okay, back in here, and presumably all the people who are fighting each other are... Yep, they're still fighting each other, lovely. And yep, some people just fighting other people over there. And then... Then they give up and stop fighting each other. But that's fine too. And I can, I can literally see you there. There you go. Lovely. Right. So. This time, watch out. Apparently this area's been mined up. Grab the cell key. Let's do this all properly like. Now before we go in there which we now know is empty, let's go searching around this area. Parsons, oh. Okay. Was that, hang on, is that the key I need to escape, or does that mean the key to get in? No, that was the key how she got in. Fine. Who's Lissa? Because I didn't realise, oh, sorry. I didn't really mean to kill you, therefore. Sorry if you were, like, important or something. 
I felt the call, we all did, the Molden men heard it, and the Themans- Oh, the Themans! Is that what we call the people of Themis? The Themans? Oh, I don't like that, I'm just gonna call them the Themis cultists. They heard it too! Parsons beckons, we use the key, we get in before the locks re-engage, we fight our way to the lowest level, we find out what this was all for, today we end it. And she was in fact, uh, yeah, from the Federation Fatigue, so... Okay, it's not just Themis, it's- it's literally everyone. Everyone's decided today's the day they're coming to Parsons. And can I? Oh, I totally hear it. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Hopefully we can just work around you. Ooh, Fungal Purge. Well, that will just be perfect. Thank you. I'll keep some of that. Anything else I want? Two Frag Grenades. That is decent as well. Lovely. Right. Keep things ticking on here. Can we just basically work around you? If I just close the door... I think that room doesn't go any- yeah, I think we're fine. Alright. Keep on keeping on here. In fact, actually, what explosives do I have set right now? Bernie grenades. Um... Let's stick with them for the time being. Now I know that our frag grenades could be useful in future. Also, I'm gonna go over to something a tiny bit more powerful, just because... Yeah, that pistol wasn't desperately well doing the- oh! Hello, Mulder Man. Ah, this'll do. This will... 90% chance to hit. 90. Chill out. Right, okay. Officially, I've been found. Have I been found? Oh, someone's tossing grenades. Alright, well that's... Oh, no you don't! Still found. 12 shots left in this thing. Where's the rest of them? Probably up there then, gotcha! Alright. Slow and steady. There's at least three Molden men up there ready. Not yet, check if you had the grenades on ya. No meat hook. Nice, but not so bad. Keep hitting the VATS button to detect the possibility of mines. Alright, looping back on myself now. Looping back on myself. Keep checking. Oh. He's probably in... Could be in here? No. No one in here. Oh. Oh, yes he is! Sorry! My mistake! I, I sort of overlooked you. You sort of just, like, you know, faded into the background there. That was fortunate. That could have gone very badly for me right there. Alright, keep it moving on. The brackets seem really calm for the time being, suggesting we're alright. This looks down over there. This is... Hang on, isn't there a... Am I missing a room? I'm trying to remember what the bloody layout of this place is. I thought there was a room to the... I thought there was a room in... I uh, must be misremembering. Uh, unless, of course, the layout has been changed by uh, this uh, this mod, which it could have been. I thought there was another side room, but apparently not. Or maybe it's the other side, maybe because the air is partly... Okay. Chill out. Chill out. There's... Ah! Rad roaches! Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, how many? Because they're kind of annoying, rad roaches. And I'd rather just finish them off before they cause trouble, if at all possible. So why don't you just come over in this direction? That's right. That's right. There we go. I'm happy to burn a tiny bit of ammo. Just for safety. I swear I saw... Yeah, I thought I saw a little one over there. Hello! Right, we'll just take you out nice and quick. And I'm parched and I've leveled up from a rad roach. Well, you know what? I'll flip and take it, because that can give me one, well, actually. I'll take a little bit of meat. I think this meat actually weighs very little. And six is worth two actual helpings. Yeah, this first area is not big. This is not so bad at all. Fine, time to level up. Now, what's the best thing I can do to help myself here? Uh, we are at level 19. Gunslinger 3, okay, is available. So, greater range accuracy, or 
Rifleman 3. 60% more accurate, 20% greater range. Interesting. Sadly, can't quite have Life Giver 3. Uh, Sneak 3 I've already taken. Already got all the scrounger I really need. Could take second rank of Action Girl. Action points more. Yep, fine. Ninja is only one-handed melee. Don't need to worry about that. Hmm. Nothing strikes out as the absolute must-have. Though, actually... The throwing arc for the grenades. That could be nice. You know what? It's a bit of a gamble, but to be honest, I may need to redo this whole area later anyway, so it probably doesn't matter. I'm going to take duck and cover two. I'm finally going to gain the throwing arc for grenades, because I'm actually carrying a fair few explosives right now, and explosives are really powerful, and I could kind of do with that power. Okay, on we go. Brackets are not exactly steady. But they're calm enough. Now, cell key. Well, obviously, the cells down below. Are there cells in this first area? That I do not know. One random shotgun shell. Okay, so we've done... We've done the full loop here. And we've got ourselves... Ooh, a Soltron blade. Is that any good? That's 33 medium. No, that's kind of terrible. And skull plate mask. Bloody flipping die. That's a bit grim. Okay, we've done ourselves the loop, and yeah, don't forget, search literally everything for just random ammo, because Scrounger 2 just adds more cell keys. Okay, interesting. Uh, and, ah, door requires key. No way to pick this. Okay, that's the master key. So I've got two cell keys, one door that, hang on, what's, what's through here? I... Can't see. Can't see that clearly. Fine. So what was the point of looping around here? Because I seem to have got nothing but a cell key. But I already had one of them. So what's the benefit to what I've just done? Huh. I'm not sure. I'm just going to quickly see if I can over here. Yeah, that's a Mark 1. I'm just going to basically clear him out. For the XP and also just to search the room because four bullets and our ah, bandage scissors. Ooh, Thorazine. Okay, you know what? That was worth doing just for that. That's plus 10 sanity right there. And I don't think you can get addicted to it. Plus, I also get nice six bullets. Fine, that was a worthy trade right there. Especially as there might be something else in one of these desks. And, unfortunately, no. I'll take a subway token, though. You never know when you're going to run into one of those Protectrons that want you to have a subway token. Fine. That's an extra 10 sanity. That'll keep me going. Right. Thorazine taken together with food and... Ooh! Hello! Sorry, I didn't know you were going to be there. Someone must have killed you last time. Okay, well, you do seem to basically be armed with just a torch. Has this room populated itself? No. But then, why are you here on this occasion when you weren't... Okay, you know what? Fine. Let's just quickly finish you off. And down you go. Right, well, who killed you the first time I was in this room? If that's... It's weird. Also, where's the mine? Because there's, there's a mine that blew me up the last time I was here. And now it's... There you go. Right. Let's just, like, watch out for the mines, because apparently there's there's mines here. Just weirdly just one over on the left, so how about we just avoid that and just walk over here instead? Fine, well, I guess we've got no choice but to head in deeper at this point. Though, actually, search this room. Always check every room, because random boxes can contain... That's flares, unfortunately. Random boxes... Can contain random... There you go. There's four dollars. At last I can retire and give up this life of crime. Oh, plasma cartridge three upstairs. Whoa, whoa for the sad abandoned psycho tats. Okay. That's psycho I can take without actually sacrificing sanity. That's not even a terrible idea. Uh, yeah. Whoa for the plasma rifle that was abandoned outside. Whoa for I'm sad about that. Well, nowhere else to go. 
deeper into the insane asylum where hopefully we can find these cells I'm supposed to be opening. I mean, logically, it's the cell down bottom with Lorenzo in. That's presumably the cell I need to get to. I need to have a chat with Lorenzo and he'll tell me where we're going next. Now, what's going on down here? Lights off for the time being. How many people are down here? And how bad is it going to be? And also, I can't... Hang on, was that... Oh! I can't squeeze through here, but I could shoot through there if the opportunity arose. Sounds like we've got more, well, not necessarily Themis versus Molden men, quite frankly, you know, everyone versus everyone else. So, no need to rush. Stay back. Wait for the violence to end, because the long week- Oh! Hello! Did you- Did you just walk into me? Well, this is- Oh, fine. Because that- that's- that's- Where did you even come from? How did you get into this- Were you already in this room? I'm guessing he was already in this room. Right, I'm just gonna hide in a- Right, people are just spawning in behind me at this point. Got it. They're just literally spawning in through that door. I'm, I'm assuming. So if that's going to keep happening, I need to just keep an eye out here. Wait. Wait. Okay, more people coming in. You're a Mulder man who's taken a bit of a light knock there. And boom, 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 boom. Okay. Uh, need to go over to... Something else. Scoped assault rifle. Right, they're just charging me at this point. They just seem to know where I bloody am. Okay. Whoo. Wave one complete. Everything. Okay. They no longer apparently know exactly where I am. But yeah, that was two people that totally spawned in through the door behind me. <laughs> Luckily, I've got sneak three. So they didn't actually see me. Right, well, who the bloody hell are you bastards? Nothing major. Thankfully, they're armed with fairly basic stuff. Bladed tire irons and whatever. Nothing I actually need. Though if there was actually a really, really, yeah, light right leg, I could do with that. Especially if it was pocketed. But no, sadly, too heavy. Okay. Big heavy gun. But bear in mind, my ammo supplies are going to start dropping very quickly here. Because these guys are not having guns. So, while that's useful for murdering them... Also, hang on. When you say lightweight, it's not that lightweight, to be honest. No. Strengthened. I think I could just wear that. But honestly, for three and three, it's not even worth it. Okay. There's more stuff here. Angry people are still around. Alright. Let's be careful and start with the... Shut that door. I'm going to guess that's where they are. And we've got advanced and the cell key isn't for that. That doesn't do anything. Right. Move on. We got more to do yet. Where are you? You in the kitchen or are you down there? And just keep hitting the VATS button. There might well be other stuff here. Ooh, 45 and... Snub-nosed 44. And yeah, it's slightly creepy how when you look away from armor, then you turn back, it just kind of flops again. Because the flop animation only happens while you're actually looking at it. Okay. Bare minimum. Fair few people seem to have killed each other. So that's all good. And more 45. Tragically, ammo type I'm not using. Alright. Peaceful for the minute. Let's just quickly swish. Nothing of note by the looks of it. That looks to me like once I go down, I'm not coming back up again. Now, ah, but there are, ooh. If I recall correctly, there's beds down in the bottom of the asylum. Question is, do I want there to be a bed? I don't know if I want to drop a save down here in case I'm trapped in an area I can't possibly complete. If there might be some impossible boss I can't do anything with. Oh, that's... Okay, cross that when we come to it. Okay, it's going to be fine. So just... Head down. Actually, it looks like we... Oh, no, no, we can actually come back up this. More is alive down here, but... We've not had a terrible starting point, to be honest. Like, people were saying in the comments this was going to be impossible. And maybe, like, we haven't got to the impossible bit yet, but... We're not doing terrible. Stay in the dark. Peek round. Uh, 
Seems... Okay, that's a dead end over there. Isn't there a... I swear there's turrets here in the main game, but they don't seem to be here today. Okay. Keep on keeping on. Something is close, but not that close. And I don't like being in the light. And I don't... I also don't like... Ah, wait, hang on. There's there's a hole in the wall here. Is this the way to go? This is... This is... Yes! This is the way to go. Good, good, good. I'm half remembering this. Uh, right, now... Oh. Right, well... That'll be the bit I can't get back up then. I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Right, so now I'm trapped down here. Oh, but there's a bed. This, however, looks bad. I'm going to be honest. This doesn't look great. Can I drop a save here? I could. Do I flipping want to? That's the question. <laughs> If I drop a save here, I'm stuck down here. I can't go anywhere else. Screw it, I'm going to do it. Alright, I've done okay so far. I think my strategy of bringing higher level guns than I am is hopefully going to work. So, drop the save. And please don't get sick. Okay. We got a save down. So, I'm feeling nice and calm right now. Now I can just open up every room... One by one. Except, oh, some of them are already open. And the sooner I figure out which room the game has started to trollishly put you in, the... Oh! Are you trying to ambush me right now? Because if so, that that's not going to work out well for you. So, okay, who else is coming? Who else is coming? Come on, bring it. I've got a rapid-fire gun and a long corridor. Okay, so broadly, this works with possibly the scope's a bit too powerful. Right, there was an attempted ambush there. <laughs> Luckily, I ambushed the ambusher. So watch your corners, because we now know that's a thing. And it's just a basic machete. Alright. Where are you? Where, oh, no, that's just concrete. Well, I'm not sure who's supposed to be searching for me right now, but it does seem to be fairly quiet. Check the bathroom. Oh! Uh-oh! Yeah, I figured there might be something there. Right, you can just go down! Whoa. Just? Right, so, if we have to redo this bit, one guy on the corner, one guy in the office at the end. Okay, learn and remember where everybody is. There's some mentats. I could do with some of that, actually. And there's a syringe rifle. Uh, but, yeah, without the ability or the resources to make the ammunition, there's not much point taking it. Fine. So, first area, two enemies. Ammunition already starting to run low. This area is not that big, though, so... There can't be that much here. Honestly, from what people were saying in the comments last week, I was expecting worse than what we've run into. And that is some medics and more medics. Okay, and then we've got... Though, actually, we do still have some mysteries. Like, we need the the master key. And actually, brackets, stable. Okay, let's see if we've got any new notes pertaining to Frost. Security door. Uh, no, that's just door control. Fine, I thought we might actually have something useful here. Or I could, of course, just drop a... Hang on, just check there's nothing there. No, nothing major of note. I could, of course, drop a safety save down here. Uh, kind of... Oh, no, you know it's safe, John. You know it's safe. Uh, right. Kind of pointless. Introducing a risk of getting ill, to be honest, but... Kind of may as well. That's for... Yeah, this room. And, yeah. We got ourselves another bed here. Marvellous. Ooh, sea captain's hat. la -dee da Right. One quick... Ooh, I'm tired. Okay, uh, well in that case, I'm just going to sleep through to morning. I may as well get rid of the tiredness, quite frankly. Uh, so, let's go nine hours. So when we're done with this area... <laughs> when? <laughs> Getting overconfident now. Uh, so that if we're done with this area, it's going to be nice and morning outside. And I'm thirsty. 
And sadly not well rested. Oh, right, fine. Well, I've got, well, I've got some food and water anyway. Right, that's better. I've had some vodka. I've had some mentats. I've had some water. I've had some food. I've had some fungal purge. And I've wrapped some bandages around my stomach, I guess. So now I just feel better in general. Uh, right. Pull the button. Down we go. But... What's next at this point? Because I thought this elevator now led down to the Lorenzo room, in which case, oh, this could be the point where I regret dropping the saves. Because if Lorenzo's a boss, I don't know if I can kill him. <laughs> Actually, wait, no. I can't kill Lorenzo, because Lorenzo has to be around for Fallout 4's base game. Assuming that's where I'm even bloody going. And... All seems calm. Yeah, okay. People in the comments were... Overreacting a little bit, I'd say. Actually, we've done fine. We Requires the. Oh. Okay, then. Ah! There it is! Right, so we've got ourselves. Mysterious serum. Alright, don't do that, because sanity minus 10 is bad. Though, admittedly, rads minus 36,000 would be nice. Uh, don't do that, though. Parthen's master key and the journal. Okay. So I'm guessing now we're actually done with this area. The key lets me back outside and the journals are telling me where I'm going next. Also, why are there two copies of the same journal? Okay, maybe don't question it. The secret to eternal life lies within these very walls. He has shown it to me, and it is no flower or grail, but a crown. A crown of such unbelievable light that I half thought I'd given in to the madness they claim I possess. It is not I who is mad, reader, for I have seen him, I have seen you, and I have seen the ending of things. The key is to let go. Alright, so there's that idea again. Now, if I drop one of these, and then... No, apparently they just they just come as a pair, uh, which is interesting, and I can't turn the page. Fine, there's just two for the price of one. I guess it all. Uh-oh. Right, we're not done yet. Something else is alive in... Oh, wait, hang on. This is... Is this right? This isn't right, is it? Is this what this area looks like in the base game? If it is, I've totally forgotten. I didn't think that was the case. I thought you arrived via an elevator, like, straight into that room. But okay. And, oh. Right. There's Lorenzo. Except there's nothing to stop me just leaving. Elevator's not Parson State Administration. All right, that's that's supposed to just be an elevator, but all right. Um, there's Lorenzo. Uh oh, yeah, there's Lorenzo Cabot, and not a chance can I. Oh, I really hope I'm not supposed to be killing him because I don't see. Well, okay, all the explosives in the world could do it. Now I do have. No, he just found me, and this door can't open. Okay. Hello! Me and you are apparently cool. Right, and then... Password... Rec oh, we're not done with this area yet. We need to come back... Later. Apparently. Uh, unless I can find the password now, but... Apparently... We ain't quite done. Fine, we might be coming back here to deal with you later in the game. But for the moment at least, I don't see a way to do that. Fine, okay. Well, the lift's not working, but is this door... Right, this door is working. Except it's not supposed to be a door, it's a lift that the game just... Okay, fine, you know what, I'm just gonna roll with it. Right, now we're back to... Wait, hang on. Ah, yes, we're back to this room that couldn't be accessed. So, Charisma, literally the most useless bobblehead in the world. Right, well, this is all fascinating stuff. Um, right. The terminal. Any chance you can give me the password I need? Uh, system status, main elevator, offline, green 98%, find the generator keeping him safe, security doors, uh, unauthorized access, high security cell access, systems normal, fine. I literally can't actually do anything there. And main elevator, yeah, nothing major. Fine, okay. Nothing I can do with any of that. Only question, therefore, is... Um, 
What do we do now? Hang on, just quickly check for the password. Uh, well, logic would be on top of the desk if it were anywhere obvious. Well, there's literally nothing I can see, so I've just grabbed some booze, done some. Check around. Actually, I know from the brackets it's all steady for the time being. Yeah, for the moment at least, everything's fine. I've done another dose of fungal purge and slapped a bandage on my mouth or whatever. Right. Now, the problem is... Uh-oh. Yeah, I see you. Okay, hang on. Back off for just a minute. The question is... Why would I want to go... Ooh. Well, the real question is, where the heck do I go... Next? I've already done the full loop here. I've already done everything. The only door... Hang on. The... What doors had master? None of the doors upstairs were master locked. So what would be the point of me fighting those guys? Like surely I want to leave at this point, but then I don't I don't have a new destination. Normally you get given a new destination. The only thing I need now is the password for that computer down there, but I don't have that password. Ernest Fleming. The name doesn't mean anything. He references the crown, the key is to let go. Unless that is a destination. The key is to let go. Okay. That's the only direction I've got right now. And the... Leave? They want me to leave. The key is to let go. So let go of being obsessed with all of that. And instead, move on. Yeah, don't fight those guys. Let go. Okay, I am going to let go. And I'm going to leave. And I'm going to see if that does anything. Oh, flip. I think I've found whatever it is I'm supposed to bloody find. I've let go. And now... Okay, now I'm in inverted Parsons. I don't know if that's good or not. It doesn't necessarily feel that good to me. Well, on the plus side, I've got a save down not long ago, so I don't really know... Like, if this is inverted Parsons, how dangerous is this place, actually? Oh, the doors don't work. Right. Do any of the doors work? Okay, that door works. Hang on, let's just be sure what I'm looking at here. So, in... Wherever the hell I am now, presumably this is something Lorenzo's doing to me? I guess. The key is to, like, walk away, which I've done. And this has brought me to... Door's chained up on the other end. No, no it's not. It's really not, because it's just, okay, I may possibly be going mad right now. So this is all good. And now we've got... Hang on. Corridor that... Oh! R right. So I went... Hang on. What? There's... Uh-oh. Right. Um, I went what I thought was right, which I think is... here. Okay, so if you turn immediately right, you constantly... End up back... Oh, bloody hell, I'm actually getting thirsty while this is happening. Right, so if you turn right, you always get brought back to the beginning. Okay. Now, okay, what if I go backwards? What if I let go? So now I... Okay, backwards does not... Okay, backwards doesn't actually do anything. Let's go left from the start. That does... That brings me back as well. Now, am I in a different universe right now, or does going right still reset me? No. Okay, so going right or left resets me. Going forward also does... What the cock? Right, okay. Going back is the only thing I'm allowed to do. Okay, if I go back, that's fine. Do I have to do things in a very particular order? So now I've gone back, what if I go forwards? And the answer is... No, no. Unless there's... Oh, wait, hang on. Hang... Wait, what? Uh-oh. Now there's... Right. So I went back, then I went forwards. 
And that led me into something. Okay. This is all getting very confusing and weird. Um, so, I'm inside my own head right now. I'm definitely inside my own head. Don't go into a dead end if you can avoid it. I need to ideally try and find something. Um, right. I need to find something in... No, that's that's a dead end. Okay, hang on. Wasn't there a, a way going also right around here? Yeah, okay, fine. So there's a bunch of dead ends around the outskirts. Logically, if I just check every single dead end, one of them should go somewhere. That's... Okay, that's just going into that one. Or maybe there's... Oh, bloody hell. Well... There might be some form of logic here. So basically, yeah, it's, it's a big open area. Except, ah, this feels like this is going into a, a different bit that's further along than I've seen previously. This feels like this is going much deeper beyond the initial area. Ah, this is good. This is good. I found a window. Is that good? I don't, I don't know if that's good. It kind of feels good. It feels a bit like progress. Um, right, now if I go this way, I'll get the other side of the window. That's... Right, that's that's probably a bit more concerning. The thing is, do I want to go through the stop signs? Probably not. I want to avoid the stop signs. That logically makes sense. Um... The bloody hell is happening here. Right, windows. Windows seem to indicate good. So there's there's an invisible wall there. Alright, I've run into an invisible wall. There's a window. That doesn't get me to the other side of that. This doesn't get me to... That's a window too. Oh! I found a door. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna open it because... That's, that's fine. The weird mazes. You know what? I'm good. Let's go. Now, where the bloody hell am I? I am in. Right, now I'm in a cell. The key is to let go. Ah, the third journal. Right, I've seen the end of things. That ray of sunshine on a distant shore. Where do we go to find it? Right this way. Right this way. Okay. Now, remember that, if I end up in a maze, that might be trying to tell me you turn right and you turn right again. So keep turning right. The key is to let go. Except the key is also a key. Right, unlock the key is to let go. So, I'm inside my own brain right now. At least, I'm assuming I... Uh-oh. Let go. There's... Ooh. The smiley man. There was a smiley hooded man in my cell right at the beginning as well. Okay. More smiley hooded men. They don't seem too angry, to be honest. I'm um, a little bit concerned. Well, actually, presumably I'm in a you don't die. Yeah, there's just... There's just smiley men. And the words let go. Everywhere. Okay. Six smiley men. Probably eight, in fact. Yep. More and more. All right. Out to the Commonwealth, apparently. Where the bloody hell am I? And we're... Oh. We're, we're back here. Okay. We're back in the maze. Um, so... Okay. What happened last time was I stepped backwards. Okay, maybe that wasn't backwards. Might be getting confused. Right. Last time I was allowed to go backwards. Okay. And then after I went backwards, if I went forwards, that seemed to take me... So, okay, now forwards is fine too. Right, so... Okay. Front, then back. Okay, hang on. Maybe front, then back, then... Then right? I don't even know if, like, I'm under... Okay, this time back isn't doing anything. Front is... Oh! Well, now I'm back in... Okay, now I'm back here. Do I have to solve the maze? This is all really bloody weird. Do I have to solve the maze again? Again, uh, okay, possibly, if so, I just need to find the window, I'm still alone, yeah, I'm still alone in here, right, I need to find the bloody window, wherever that is, aha, I've made it back to the stop signs, now, I feel like, yeah, I'm actually going to run into the stop signs on this occasion, because, 
Well, I don't know if that's... Oh. Has that just taken me back to the beginning? Have the stop signs just actually reset me? Because they actually weren't kidding when they said stop. Right, I might have just been reset by the stop signs. Here we go. There's the stop signs. So I found my way back to them. So don't go in there. Instead, just keep on keeping on past the stop signs. Wait, is that a... Okay, there's a door. But I've been through that door before. Right, that's... That's the door I've been in. Let's go. Let's... Let's go. Yep. Yeah. How? How do you want me to let go precisely? Define your terms. Do you want me to... Am I supposed to kill myself? And also, was that supposed to be flashing or not? It could just be a visual bug. Who knows? Um... Back to the Commonwealth. I mean... Ways to let go. Sleep in the bed. Like, if I could sleep in the bed. Except I have no way of sleeping in the bed. I have no way of waiting. Because this is survival mode. You can't manually wait in survival mode. I've got nothing to sit on. I could kill myself. But I don't know. Well, that can't be it. Because the only way you can kill yourself is to use explosives. And the game can't guarantee you're going to have explosives with you. So... That doesn't feel like that's the solution. So in which case... I can't interact with any of these guys. Can I... Can I... Sh no, I can't even... Oh, I can actually have a gun. Can't fire through that. Can't kill these guys. Can't get to your beds. And I'm going to guess... That this is going to bring me right back to where I was. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just supposed to do... I can't be supposed to be supposed to do in two loops. Okay, right back, and then forwards, and then that might bring me to the starting position, if I'm, yeah, so now I'm in the starting position over here. That's brought me over here, or something. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Okay, so I'm back at the initial crossroads again. The question is, if I go back and then forwards, that causes one thing to occur. Let's try the other options here. So if I go right, right, okay, right simply, does right definitely just reset to me and doesn't do anything else? I'm just going to keep going right a couple of times. Okay, so just, yeah, nothing much. Keep heading what is presumably orientated right. That doesn't seem to do anything. Right? Yeah, fine. Okay. Let's try doing some left. Or maybe I need to go back first before I do the left. Because everything in this game is confusing. Because, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't do anything. Alright. Uh, straight on. Okay, straight on does something. Straight on does do something. Now I'm going to turn to what is the left. So I'm allowed to go straight on. O okay. Right. So straight on is fine. And now to what is the right as I begin. I just don't know whether any of this is doing anything. It's all very confusing. Oh. Right. Right. Um, so straight on, then right has done something. Now the stairs. Okay. Straight on. Then right. And then... Right, um... These are my memories. Except now there's... I think, hang on, is this the same one? Right, so now, now I'm being reset in an entirely different universe. Is this the same staircase I just went on? Yeah, okay, fine. So, okay, except that doesn't go anywhere either. Right, okay, so in which case, uh, don't go down to, wait, hang on, which way was, which way was forward? No, that must have been wrong. <laughs> hate everything. Okay, I've triggered the stairs again. Now, those stairs, I'm pretty sure I went down them, and if that's the, the, um, the stairs with the Nuka-Cola machine at the bottom... I went both directions, and the game was like, nah. 
So that's the stairs I do not want to go down. I want to go down the other stairs. Because there's another set of stairs down here. So I want to see what's going on with these stairs. And ah! Let's go! The key is to let go. Which I can unlock with the key of letting go. <laughs> I feel like this imagery is getting lost in the game mechanics here. But okay. Um, this is new at least. So what I did was, yeah, I found the... Am I back here? A bloody get... Oh. Right, now I'm the far side of the Nuka-Cola machines. So I feel like I could have just climbed. Right, continue unlocking my memories. And things. So, now what? Am I back on the Columbia? Yep, now I'm back on the Columbia. Understandable. Uh, don't open the bulkhead just yet. Terminal. What exactly is going on? Property of your subconscious. Here again at the beginning of things. There was a memory here of a subject smuggled across seas. But they cast it off. Let go. Alright. Uh, let's just double check where we are indeed all alone. And now I'm in the tunnels I started in. And this is the room which obviously I did indeed start in. Lovely. So just check the terminals. One by one. In an empty cell, two prisoners woke from sleep, each seeking the other. But what of the one? What was their flower, their crown? It all led them here. Okay, uh, this all looks familiar. And also, I have $10 out of my own subconscious, thank you. And now I climb up through tunnels that are all a bit mold and many. Continue. Ah! I saw you way back in part two, but I never actually uh, saw you in this universe because I never actually went that way. Uh, okay. Never Alpha nor Omega. They were not the first. Monsters there were and will be. They were not the last. From Angel Hunter to Synthetic Men Below. Never first nor last. Alright, keep on keeping on. I assume we're visiting like the fake institute now. Ah, the ending of things. Ooh! This might be the end, I don't know! And now we are... Uh, well, apparently I can fast travel out of the ruins. I can't! They just didn't know how to turn that alert off. And I'm mildly dehydrated. Just getting a little bit on the concerning side. I really hope I've got some water. I've got enough to get myself up to thirsty, but I spent a lot of time bloody just running around in that thing. So, yep, yeah, since being built... Presumably something to do with me. Ah, processing! You can't... Ah! No, you physically can't go through that in the uh, the main game either. Right, okay. Um, can't go back through the door I came in. Well, there is a terminal here, fine. Terminal, and... Oh, do you understand? Oh? Do you understand now the way of things? We have seen what was, what is, and what will be. Clarity at the brink of chaos. And as your mind drifts, your body sails onwards... All the things you cherish slip away like sand. When will you learn to let go? Let go! Hmm. Okay. And now I'm... Oh. Now I'm somewhere else. And the somewhere else apparently is Sunshine Tidings of all flipping places. Oh. And I seem to have actually lost my, um, my torch. And... Everything else, actually. Um, oh, yeah. I'm now naked. Well, this is a concern. Yep, I've lost everything. I've lost all my weapons. I've lost all my apparel. I've lost absolutely all my aid. Weirdly, though, I still have all my keys. Like, whoever decided to take all my stuff off me left me with all my keys. Well, luckily at least, there are still a handful of people here. I could potentially have some stuff off. And, yeah, what have I actually been left with? I've got myself holotapes, a charisma bobblehead, and some Eddie Winter tapes. Marvellous, I'm glad I've got that. Well, I guess I take a faded trench coat then. I guess that's mine, together with a bandana. Now, what else do we have here? We got one guy here, one survivor. I got a key... I got a baseball bat. I'm afraid, my good man, you appear to be wearing. Uh, yeah, you actually appear to be wearing. Um, you know, oh, Feragals can now detect. Oh, we find I'm taking things one by one out of my inventory. Marvelous. 
Uh, you, my good man, appear to be wearing what looks like better quality armor uh, and also um, a gas mask. So I've got bad news for you. Like, really bad news. Yep, there we go. Uh, kind of need your stuff. Ah! Yannis's manifesto, a laughing gas mask, a yellow slicker hat, and a longshoreman outfit. Right! Now, what the heck is going on here exactly? Yeah, this is the best I've got right now. A trench coat for plus two perception, a gas mask, and a slightly lucky hat. Great. So, the manifesto. Five years it took me to find the snake, only to have them slip from my grasp. Here I am with all the answers. No matter how hard I try, I'm plagued by the old world blues. I can change my name, I can shed my past, I can put it all behind me. It doesn't matter. I'm still the same sunshine jack I was so many years ago, wasting away at those lazy summer days at the co-op. Johnny and Alan would pick up old Mr. Handy's and Protectrons for us to reprogram. We'd set them free, wipe their memories, give them a new life free from their overlords. That's what I wanted for the snake. I wanted to give them a new start. I couldn't give myself. When the bombs came, we were alone. We barricaded ourselves in the cellar for a month or more. We had no food. Alan went first. We had no choice. He saved us. We ate and lived long enough to make it to the tunnels. We could never forget what we'd done. We could never let go. So three of these guys together, one of them dies, they turn cannibal and eat him. I've seen where it all began, and I've seen where it ends. From the depths of the sea, to the towers of Parsons and back again, I have seen it. And this is where it leads me, time to begin again. So, I've just basically been forcibly begun again. I was left in the tunnels, in the cage, by him. Then, basically, I went and found Janus, and as a result, he's basically immediately made me let go and begin again, again. So now I am wherever I am, but once again, I'm lacking in all my equipment, which is a shame. I liked some of that equipment and that armour, so that's a bit of a harsh thing. And now, presumably, well, I'd say I have to go and now find this Janus to put a stop to him, but he's just basically managed to you know, make me begin again again, so what stops him just doing it again again again? Now that I'm not quite sure about. In fact, actually, how much of a total reset is this? Okay, bare minimum, I am still level 19 and I've still got my perks, you can't take them from me. Okay, drop a save down at the sleeping bag, whatever's going on here. We have admittedly made it onto the next bit of the game. So, with a baseball bat in hand that I'm not very good with, where am I? The O. Uh-oh. Why do I have a horrible feeling I know exactly where I am right now? Because the island means only one thing. Oh, yeah. I'm in far bloody harbour. Right, well, at least, bare minimum, I do actually have, you know, a gas mask on. That's good. And also a giddy-up buttercup. So, you know... Sure, I'm glad I'm not lacking that. Right, the, also, the slog is under attack. You know what? I think it's going to have to deal with its own problems. I've got bigger things to do right now. And yeah, apparently this, this boat is called Sunshine Tidings or something. Right. So, I'm in Far Harbour. Question is, what the bloody hell am I supposed to be doing next? And where am I exactly? Well, no new quest, just help defend the slog, greet the dog, and listen to the battlefield holotape. So, none of that actually helps me. Go over to the map here. Ah! The game has accidentally helped me. Which is, help defend the slog is telling me where the point I can travel from is. So, Far Harbour is on the map. I've got to help defend the slog, which means I know for a fact there's a boat back to the Commonwealth, where it should be right by uh, Far Harbour, because the game's telling me that's where it is, and also was that, hang on, is that the, that is the power armour symbol, there's power armour there apparently too, and I am way over here, right, that's, that's where I am apparently, so I've got to find my way across Far Harbour with basically no armour and no weaponry, and I'm thirsty and a bit hungry, and I've had all my food and drink taken off me. So, basically, this is not going to go well, is it? No. No, it most certainly is not. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'd say that's enough for now. 
I've dropped a save in the little sleeping bag down there, so uh, we will pick up from there next time. <laughs> okay, you know what? Bare minimum. Food and drink is not so bad right now. And I did a couple of fungal purges inside uh, the actual asylum. So as a result, yeah, my, my rads aren't too bad either. And I've got, well, I've got a radiation mask the game's given me. But other than that, I've got basically flipping nothing. I'm just wearing a trench coat. I'm wearing a trench coat and I've got a smiley mask on. Oh, I'm so flipping boned. Join me next week to discover just how boned, ladies and gentlemen, as we try and make it to Far Harbour itself and make it back to the Commonwealth to figure out what exactly is coming up next. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death, okay? This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> the Romans touched me.